If you said it and you said it with meaning, I prophesy with my eyes open. Next year around this time, you will come here with a mega testimony. Anybody who has sat on your prosperity, anybody who has sat on your open door, by the mandate of the authority of this house and the oil on my husband, I prophesy to you, it will be a memorial for you and for your children and for your children's children. I want to hear somebody thundering, an amen. It is your papa's birthday and it's a day of memorial. As you saw into this prophetic word, no devil from your father's house, no devil from your mother's house, a seal is taken off and you are taking your blessing, you are taking your favor, you are taking your glory. See car harvest, car, car harvest. You will pack cars from this end to the other end. Am I talking to somebody in this house? Hey, man of God, I can see billionaires in this house. My husband says the bourgeoisie. I can see people here. This is the last thing I'm saying. Who are going to Dubai for two days for holidays? You go to China for three days. Go to America for three days. To did, did you catch the prophecy? Oh, somebody say, I catch it. Say, I grab it. I declare over your life a light that has never been seen before. Wherever you go, you will be the ahead. I bless your hands. Bless your forehead. Favor will locate you. Favor will locate you. Favor will locate you. Shout, eh, eh, eh. Something is going on here and it is getting me angry. The devil didn't know. Like he wouldn't dare. Look at your neighbor and wait. Hear what I'm going to say carefully. Physical expression. Like, hey, you, you just don't know what I contain. How could I reveal you tonight? You won't understand from the Facebook wall. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let me see how I will look. Yeah. Where is the photographer now? C come around, come around, come here. Come here. Where is the photographer? I can see my business standing. I can't see my money. Sending around. Sending around. Sending around. See my glory. Sending around. Yes, Sending around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, be sure. I can't see your favor. Sending around. Sending around. Hey, ha. Sending around. Oh, my glory. I can see your glory. Sending around. Sending around. Sending around. Oh, my glory. God in the hell of God in our way, nobody be like her, nobody day like her. God in the hell of the God in 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 the I have a very big God. You see, oh, come on, Abraham, don't go there. Psalm 23 said something. Hold on. Everybody can see that I am going through the valleys of the shadows. The fear 
is the evil behind the crisis. So he said, I fear no man. Because the, the more they wish you dead, the more you will swag, the more they expect failure. Yes, yet though. Look at somebody, tell the person, you will hear very soon. You will smell very soon. And you will see it finally. S -s sit down so I preach if you don't sit. And how many of you were blessed yesterday? Oh, Jesus. So now you have an idea of what it is. Ha. And, 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 and Genesis 1, we're picking it from Genesis 1. Hello, we got to verse 3. Am I right? But now you start it from Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. We, we need to start from basic so we understand the journey very well. Ladies and gentlemen, I live in Dodoa. When coming, I did not jump or teleported myself. I drove through Dodoa, OEB, Valley View. Uh, and I got to Okoegono. My destination was Okoegono, not OEB. The fact that the car broke down at OEB does not mean I belong there. Right. I'm coming. The fact that I broke my leg at Adenta does not mean that is my destination. Sometimes you will be fractured in the journey. But what God is trying to tell you is that he is remolding you to qualify and to fit where he is taking you. Because Jacob was coming back to his destination. But he cannot come back walking like Esau. You are not getting it. He left as Esau. And he was coming back to his rightful place. If he arrives as a photocopy, whatever he had will return to his own. So from the journey to come back, there must be a deformation for reformation. I prophesy over somebody. They will laugh at your deformation. But it is a mystery. They will say things about your deformation. Your first husband left you. The second one left you. The third one left you. They are deformities. But I came to tell you. They are deformities for a reformation. God, they can't butter somebody in bread, though. And this is even not what I'm here to preach. But the Spirit of the Lord, I'm just warming up. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me. Somebody is about to give up because of the deformity. The fact that your tie is bested does not mean you don't have a car. Your tie now, pie. Now walk car. Organize them. Fix it. If you cannot fix it, there is a way out. He said, call on me. Call on me. Somebody lift your right hand. Say, Lord, I am not here to go back the same. If you have to disfigure me, ah, do it. <laughs> and configure me. I need a pen around. Genesis 1, let's pick it from 1. Genesis chapter 1, the verse number 1. Let, let mommy read that for me today, okay? When? Genesis oh, Jesus. Uh, I did it yesterday, but today, Chief Inspector is around. I can't. She knows what I'm talking about. I hope I am allowed to. Kadabo So I can flow. Uh -huh. I am not allowed to. Go to Genesis 1 0. You got it? <laughs> you see how she struggled to get Genesis 1 0? Did she struggle? I just said go to 1 0. Don't think you know the man until you manage the man. Ha. I was talking to a daughter of mine this afternoon who was having challenges in her marriage. And she said, Daddy, I'm tired. I said, you, because you are a fool. 
She said, Daddy, I don't know. Now, now I'm tired. I said, you are a super fool. She said, Daddy, you don't understand me. I said, that is why you are a professional fool. Then she said, Daddy, what should I do then? I said, ah, your husband is a pastor, right? She said, yes. I said, marry the man and live with God. <laughs> oh, I won't explain. You will understand later. When you marry the man and you live with God, you see him like God sees him. Amen. And marriage means taking care of. So when you see him the way God sees him, his mistakes will let you see him as a baby boy. So even when you are going to beat him up, you do this. It will sound loud, but not hurt him. Wives, marry the men, but live with God. Meet them. Am I doing well? <laughs> now read it. I won't go to other things. That will, the other languages you won't understand. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Uh -huh. And the earth was without form and void. Who was creating the heavens and the earth? Is it not God? Don't we call him a perfect God? That he does everything so perfect. So how come in his own perfect creation the earth was without form and void? Continue. Yesterday I told you I was keeping the deep and I will explain it tonight. How many of you remember? Now, the deep is yet to be fulfilled visions. Dreams. It's a deep. You, you have it in your mind but not yet man. and darkness was upon the face of how many of you have dreams but when you look at your family background and you look at your educational background it is a dream but undreamable how, how many of you have had, uh, <coughs> now how many of you have coveted cars that were passing whilst you are standing by the roadside and if you see what you are wearing and you look at the car you can only claim it by faith but not by how many of you have done that before and how many of you know that poverty can let you insult people who have not done anything to you? So poverty can even let you curse yourself to disqualify yourself for riches. See, um, you don't know what to do with money. You for buy bus, where you go take do trot tro, you take go buy convertible in Africa, you know, get sense. All because you have been standing there for 30 minutes. Trot, trot, no, they come. The sun has damaged your brain. So to you, and it is convertible. So they, they are playing some powerful song. Sapatuma putu. Sapatuma. And, and you are just coming from prayer session. Three hours of yapaya, yapaya, yapaya. Only for trot, trot to reject you. poverty out of your life oh i am not in temple of praise uh, poverty is a disease oh, from today the same god they used to come into your life may thunder strike them may thunder strike them may thunder strike them. say poverty get out Poverty can let you insult your future father-in-law. Some people were rejected because they didn't look visionary. And those who rejected them are regretting today. So now let me continue. We're talking about what is it for? What you have in your hands. What is it? If you don't know what you have, you will sell it out. And I remember telling you, Ghana, we have gold, but we are borrowing money. Nigeria has oil, and they are borrowing money. The problem is not the devil. The problem is your level. My experience in Europe has taught me that Holland, 
They don't have land. They don't even have anything. But they get land. And because they are surrounded with water, in fact, the country itself is water. Nobody can dump and control water than Holland. We too, we can control talk. Ghana and Nigeria, we can talk. We talk more than we work. And I blame the church. Because the church is not raising a generation that looks like God. In the beginning, God created. How do you create without working? So the God you claim to belong to, if truly he is your father, you must be hard working. Not hard stealing. Can we share the grace? I don't like your response. <laughs> so the problem began when you misapplied what was given you. He said, I have given you authority. Luke 10, 19. To do what? How do you tread? It's work. It is work. Until you begin. Let me tell you something. What I am doing is work. So when I hear people talk on radio that pastors are chopping money. Should we come and chop their... I am not home. If I were at Okoi Gondo, I'll show them I can tag Gamea, Tendamo Gamea man. Or Mang May Maham, a Puak Puak. No more true near PWD. Nay, I hear no more your SCC. Can you work with Nepa and go and take your salary at Nigeria Petroleum Company? So if I'm a pastor, should I choose stone? When a church member is driving a Bentley, it is a blessing. But when a pastor is driving a Bentley, it is robbery. God punish their mouth. If you don't defend your own, you will regret ever serving your own. So, God was creating. But in his creation, there was a mess. And the illustration we did yesterday, a chair, and you have your legs on the chair, whilst your buttocks is on the ground. The chair is correct. You are correct, but the action, the purpose of the chair is not being properly used. It is chaotic. It is darkness. A vision manufactured the chair. But the one who must use the chair correctly has no understanding of us. So, so the earth was without form and void. Nature's a confusion. Every place was in a mess. Honey, you can be the richest man if you don't know how to drive. You will use your legs on the steering wheel. You will pour water in the fuel tank and pour crazy in the oil tank. All because you have the right thing with the wrong brains. I know you are not getting me. Even in prophesying, you can be the greatest prophet. But if you don't know how to apply it, you will create confusion every day. Tonight you will use what you have. And God said, go to three. Let's all read. Go. Who said? Who said? Who said? Who said? Where is God? Somebody said up. Up where? And God said. Meaning when the Bible was being written, he has already spoken. He is not the beginning and the end. He is the end of the beginning. God does not have a beginning. He doesn't have an end. So don't say he is the beginning and he is not the beginning. He is the beginner of the beginning. So beginning did not begin with God. Rather, God began the beginning. Let there be light. And the light said, okay, I'll come in two weeks. Can we share the grace? I remember that day.
when it was raining Thursday at Chiblo she was there I think carrying her second born then you see this lady here she doesn't love the church she loves you Amen. you won't understand in the church we have those who love the church but not the pastor Amen. and we have those who love the pastor and not the church they are the ones that when everybody leaves they will stay but those who love the church when the church begins to leave pastors let us care for those who love us and let God take care of those who love the church he said he will build the church he didn't say he will build us no this is too deep for you to understand he didn't say I will build you he said I will build my church so you build your church let me also build those who love me oh, these are words of wisdom you can't understand may God give us discernment to locate those who love us you didn't say if you can't stand here where you didn't love and I didn't say you didn't love me. Laughter is not a sign of love. Go and ask Jesus and Judas. I will build my church. So that one belongs to him. Now this woman, it was raining on a Thursday. We're having our usual Thursday service. He was home. When the weather changed, he left home. That time he was a bachelor. And Abner Jewa was serving him water. Hey, what a server. Arantus. This man walked through the rain with the daughter and the baby at the back. They came there. That time we had raised the blocks without roofing. And we were being beaten by the rain. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, let there be light. From the place he spoke to where the light is needed, there is a distance. It takes time. What we lack is the power to wait. But if you will wait, I prophesy, by 15th of December 2020, what you have been pulling for the past years, and it is bluffing you, your light will arrive. Oh, are you sure you are here? I said your light! Service was going on then, the light too free. By then he was an associate. Quickly, he ran down, pulled some generator. And then we put the generator in the office because then the rain is not coming. And then connected the cable to the church. Only for one of the members to make a mistake. Thinking the cable, you remember that day, was a microphone cable and he held the, mic, the cable. Yeah, we thought he was praying in tongues. It took the grace of God to deliver that young man. Where is he today? He has left the church. Could it be a sign then? that we should know this is somebody the higher your voltage the more you expose them there are those in the church who can't stand high voltage let there be light and, and, and ladies and gentlemen all this while the Bible never said Lucifer has been chased out of heaven. He was there. Because it takes worship to generate creative power from God. The very moment he was banished from heaven, creation ceased. When worship ceases, miracles will cease. That is why any time he wants to do his thing, he will lift a song. And one thing I like about him is that he will scream the song and leave it for them. He will never scream it and sing it to the end. Just when you think you are tired, so he is going to stop. He will lift another one. And leave it there, just like my father, Apostle General. Oh, Papa. You hear? Oh, you should know the song. He said, oh, but you should know the song. When he said let there be light, there was light. But he didn't say let there be light where he was. There. Stop staying here. And speak light into your there.
No wonder today came to meet you poor. Though you were poor yesterday. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Tomorrow will come and meet you based on the energy you create today. If you keep sleeping, tomorrow will be light off. If you sleep tomorrow, next will be light off. Can you shake yourself and say, not again. I speak light into my tomorrow. I speak double light into my tomorrow next. If I have 10,000 today, my tomorrow will be 100,000. My next day will be millions. I see billions. I see billions. Because he said, let them. Now watch it. Watch it. He was speaking into the dead before we were created. The light was not meant for what he created, but who he created. What is inanimate? Who is human? How come you are human but light is not shining? It will not be the old lady in your house. Your inability to use what you have in your hands. Can I go forward some more before we pray? Let there be light. How can you put your hands in shoes? How? Your hands are in shoes. Then you are causing Ecclesiastes to be fulfilled that prince are walking whilst slaves are riding on horseback. The problem is not the horse. <laughs> The problem is also not the shoes, but the prince, who is ignorant of his gene. Not be crazy where they inside you where they call him blood. The one where they inside you not be petrol. Not Jesus in blood where don't they your inside. If he did not die after three days, he rose up. Your business must rise after three days. Your oh, you see. Our inability to know how to use what we have will let an ordinary person take it and use it. And people you are supposed to employ, you are calling master to someone who should have called you. Somebody say, I change it. Some of you have married the wrong men. Because you, and let me, can I say this quickly? I know I have theologians and scholars here, but this one, you won't get it anywhere. It is a gift from heaven. Now, let me, let, me, let me show you something. When God created everything, that was not the ultimate. The ultimate was the extension of himself. So, creation comes before revelation. Revelation, that is creation. Check it again. After creating everything, he realized there is a need for man. So creation gave birth to a revelation. Can I extend myself? C can I occupy that place? Uh, I am omnipresent, but but this place, uh, you, you need something identical. And watch it, and watch it. He said, let there be light. And there was light. God did he say, the world is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. He said, the earth. So the earth was without form. Void. Chaotic. Watch it. In Genesis 2, I think 16 there about. Downstairs. Then God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Then by 26 he says, out of the dust of the earth, out of the dust of the ground, the chaotic atmosphere, God formed man. In creating himself, he went to where the beginning was chaotic. So if God had not corrected the chaos, he would have created a chaotic himself. No, you will understand when you grow. <laughs> what you don't correct today will reproduce your mess tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah. 
<laughs> what you fail to correct today will recreate your mess tomorrow. No Shannon, what touch in the bag blowing me blue? Catch a mokuaye, she should just an equal awful. I will go over it again. Most of you are seated here, and you are you are sad. People are talking about you. When you heard the first one, did you slap the person? If you had slapped the first one. She would have, hey, this sister, don't talk about her. She will slap you, beer. So everybody who will dare talk about you will prepare the cheek for a slap. <laughs> ah, something is boiling in now. Ladies and gentlemen, in all the chaos that God had to correct, it is because he is perfect. And he is about to create himself in that chaotic atmosphere for he, he cannot rule chaos the bible says he is not the author of confusion so he had to settle the mess the darkness can i prophesy over some 20 persons and you will discover the 20 i'm talking about any ancestral mess you have inherited any generational mess you have inherited any self-imposed mess that is following you by the prophetic voice and the oil on my head i declare let there be light let there be light let there be light let there be light. Let that mess be taken off. Let that mess be broken. Let that mess. This prophecy is for just 20 people. Look at your neighbor on your left and right and tell the person, no more mess. You didn't say it like a believer. Say no more mess. <laughs> Bros, then go see you shy. Oh, you didn't hear me. My darling, they will see you shy. You may be walking barefooted today, but you correct your tomorrow. Can I tell you something? Also, for let me say this. Uh, they were ten virgins. Ten virgins. They knew each other. But they couldn't help five. Don't be too sure. God is too smart for creation to mess around him. Can I say it again? There were ten virgins on the same mission. But when five ran out of oil, they could have helped them. But they didn't help. When Peter was walking on the waters and he began to sink, there were six other fishermen in the canoe. None of them dived into the water to save him. Be careful. Don't think because we are all praying, they have you at heart. If you don't prepare your tomorrow, if you don't speak your light, you will die in your darkness whilst they are swimming in their light. Haven't you seen a pastor having a generator at home and there is light off and his next door neighbor does not have light? In your darkness. Right. 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 I love this part. Shemima Naminya. You don't know what I am singing, but something is boiling within me. Harato Shabaya. Hallelujah. Sun Sum Kokrone. Betinamimu. Yesu dimi jawo. Meshemi no mu. There is another one. There is another one that say, "Se wudi ni makume mo, ati ni na be ye ye. Se wudi ni makume mo, ati ni na be ye ye. Se wudi ni makume mo, ati ni na be ye ye. Se wudi ni makume mo."
Wait, and as I close, now God has created man in his image, and he said, Let them have. Oh, look at your neighbor and say, I got it. This is where you got it wrong. It is not muscular dominion, brain dominance. Yantala does not make man intelligent. The oil does not change your character. It comes to seal who you are. So if you are a liar and you get anointed, you become anointed. If you are a thief and you get anointed, you are anointed. No wonder these days people are too smart. They have been anointed about 20 times. Julona for Lemu. Move for you. Anointed. Un ladrón oncionado. Osofo, now I am careful who to anoint. You know me. My children call me the apostle of water. And anytime I come here, you know I use water. Did I do it yesterday? I don't want the water to fall on somebody who has not yet changed. I just anointed the person to become a professional in that unchanged self. When man was like God, he will come in the coolness of the day to chat. When man changed, he gave man the skin of a beast because we have changed. And that beast was the serpent. Only the snake changes the skin. And man was deceived by the snake. And man changed towards God. You are not getting it. Are you surprised your baby don't change? Don't panic. He's just a snake. And the Bible says, and the Lord covered man with the skin of a beast. The same beast he referred to in scripture. Have you not changed? What was your shoe size when you were three months old? I, I, I have to bring out some revelations. Uh, but I want to hold on to that. Then also forget the shocker. Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And let man have dominion. Now, man simply means manage all nonsense. Now, let us make somebody who will manage nonsense. Because when even I was creating, there was nonsense. And I said, let there be light. So let me create someone who can manage all nonsense. Until you deal with the nonsense around you, fowls will shit on you. My daughter, if you don't let him know you don't tolerate it, he will do it when you are married. I like your silence. Modern day Christian, if you are preaching the word, they won't clap. <laughs> but if you are, you see, I don't preach emotional messages. I preach mental messages. Because we, 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 we lose it for lack of knowledge. Not for lack of anointing. You can be anointed fool. You can be highly anointed, but super foolish. Bulu na folemu. Am I? Am I okay? Am I safe? Am I preaching? Am I? Am I changing somebody's mindset? So if God created you to deal with the darkness, what have you done in your family? Rather, you are scared of a witch you came to hear of me. When we got married, I had an uncle. He was the Agaja because I come from a family nobody has ever traveled abroad. 
The one way you don't travel, but night they go, so you don't crank room after. Yes. So he was the only international man in the family. Oh, go just an He was the only international man in the family. And when there is homo war and he's coming, he comes with, I mean, American goods like yam, plantain, cassava, cocoa yam, and some bush meat. And when he comes, everybody kotos this man. Then I got married. And we bought a car. This man came from the village and he saw the car parked in the family house. And he was like, whose car is this? They said it belongs to Bram Lamte. Here. Who gave his car to Lamte to come and park it here? They can write you off. But you will be cursed by heaven if you write yourself off. Immediately I heard him say, who gave his car to Lamte to come and park it here? Then I told the car, this man would die and I will carry him with my car. But so long as he's alive, I won't carry him. Few. When they said it is still mine, he said, who told you somebody can own a car in this family? The hotter you are, the better you expose them. May you be a wonder in your family. Did I just prophesy? I said, may you be a wonder. I think I feel those on the extension. Let me go to the extension. I am feeling them more. Can I talk to those of you out here? I said, you will be the wonder of your family. You will be the wonder of your family. They will see you and bow their heads in shame. You will change the story. You will rewrite your family record. Am I prophesying? Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? 24 hours from now, you will change your family story. You will change your family story. Shout change! When change becomes necessary, sacrifice is needed. Now catch the revelation. Prof, this one, Najara. Bible says, and when God used the earth to form man, the earth lacked something. The fact that trees are growing on earth does not mean it has life until man survives. <laughs> and the only way man can survive is God's breath. The very moment God breathed into man, he transferred himself into man and gave man a dual nature. The breath gave us the visa to go to heaven and the flesh gave us the visa to rule on earth. And that was the difference between you and Satan. Angels don't have blood because they don't have heart. I didn't come to give you baby food. I told you yesterday, it is about time you start chewing bones. Angels don't have blood or tongue because no angel has a heart. And that's the difference between you and Lucifer. No wonder he is always looking for blood. And that was the trump card. When Jesus went into the grave, he said, okay, let's bargain. If you have anything more precious than this one, then you can keep them. But if you don't, give me the keys. If you know the power of the blood in you, you can walk to that witch and say, hey, you are following a bloodless entity. Then the Bible says in the book of Numbers, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. So anything without blood has no right to live. So God made man. And man messed up. But let me close in Ezekiel, the chapter number 37. Now you will understand my message. Ha. Somebody is about to pray. The next five minutes, we will fire here. And whatever the Lord wants to do, he should do. You see this man here? He is not looking this handsome because he knows how to take care of himself. He is looking this handsome because somebody needs him as a billboard. How many of you have been very hungry on the spin test route in a trotro or some Uber or some boat? And then you see KFC billboard. And then you see that crunchy chicken thigh with the chips salted. And then you wished you could command the billboard. 
but it directs you to where you can find. If this man has ever directed you to where you found your glory, then there is a God in him. God bless you, my son. Then there is a God in him. <laughs> you are not getting what I am saying. Because most of you, God bless you, sir. Most of you, 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 you God bless you. You can remember who you were. And, 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 and uh, ask him, anytime I walk into this church and I don't see her, I will ask him, where is your daughter? There must be signs to confirm your calling. Signs and wonders must follow you. So, here stands God with Nado, the celebrant. And immediately you walked in, you liked his dress, and you have money. So you decided to sow same. The glory will not be saved. So, they may look like Christians, but not created in his image and in his likeness. Oh Lord, this one, this one is too bombastic. Hear me! The fact that they carry the Bible with clerical color and a pontifical robe. The dry bones have been there for years. But God couldn't find someone looking like him. Who can speak like him. Oh. Huh. This one I give it to the pastors. Until there is a need of God found in you. He will not waste his time to look for you. God looks for people who he has a need in them. He had brothers, but they didn't have a heart. They had brains, but they didn't have heart. Oil is not looking for brain. Oil is looking for heart. You need brain to survive on earth. But to walk with God, you need a heart. This work we they do. It is easy to be a pastor's wife. Try for just three months. But before you wish to be, Remember that the very things you have been saying about her, you are taking her place for it to be said. You will die after three years. Meanwhile, God has prepared a hairless 20-pack, a man nobody will fight you over. So you live long. God does not grant choices. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus give me Ezekiel 37 1 and I'm closing to that uh, Osafo, you will speak tonight you think they like you they can invite you to come and preach in their church because of what you have but not because of who you are I have gone to minister in churches powerful and some of his elders in his office making fun of me and one of his daughters who was in there Recorded everything and sent it to me. The next day, I was preaching there three days. The next day, come and see the way this man introduced me. How many of you know Abraham Lamte? That day, mommy wished the earth had opened for her to sink. Me. After introducing me and I took the microphone, I walked straight to him after letting everybody sit. And I wisely but idiomatically asked him questions related to what he said yesterday. And he began to fidget. The more he fidgeted, the more I asked. When I finished, I said, this is my message today. The Lord bless you. And I dropped the microphone. I was on my way when he called to apologize because he thought it was a prophetic revelation. Not everything we say is a prophetic revelation. Someone, they are gossip benefits. <laughs> oh. No, 
I can't deceive God and say it was a prophetic. That wasn't a prophetic. That was a help. It was a holy help. The next day, I didn't go. That the Saturday, because I'm to climax it on the Sunday, he came with his elders. When they sat down, I said, let me open Leviticus. I played everything to them. Then I said, I, if I am not a blessing unto the, you, the head pastor, then there is a blockade between me and the congregation. They will clap and scream, but they will not have miracles. So I don't think I should come until you repent. I have the evidence. Come see him. From that day, I never went to his church again. Not knowing he has been doing that to every pastor that comes there because he is scared. You see this man? You see this young man here? He calls me Papa. I don't enjoy it because when somebody calls you Papa, you should pamper the person. <laughs> he calls me Papa. I should pamper him. Me, now nah, I know tough. Where is the extra meat to pamper them? You see this handsome guy? You see this man? You see this man? When you see us together, you will not believe these are pastors. The only thing you see is brothers. When he walks into my church, I don't have a problem. Ask him. Sometimes he runs away. One thing I don't fear is giving out my pulpit. It is his church. Didn't I tell you? His church. I protect those who love me, not the church. Those who love the church love God. Those who love me love me. Every day. But we not for who buy. Now me so many don't cross for. Are you get, you see, truth is truth. Let us stop preaching hypocrisy. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit, not in the flesh. What brought you out? Daddy, I like the chick, the hips. When she's walking, oh my God. Daddy, then I lose focus. Huh? No, no, no. Daddy, I'm sure she's the one. Like, seriously. Because she is young, the elasticity in her muscles are still strong. So it is holding the buttocks and holding the hips firm. After 45 into 50, when she has given you foolish head like your head, four, and everything has sucked and the muscles have lost their elasticity and the buttocks that was high has now dropped to Juventus then oh that I love nobody has love ask them do you need each other if you don't fit in his vision don't marry him Ask Leah. You can be a mistake of a wife. Oh, daddy, I like her Manchester. Especially the Arsenal. And what kills me is the Juventus. The Liverpool will disappoint you. Are you asking which one is Liverpool? If we are in church, speak the truth. Don't you know what is Liverpool? Yeah. I love this church. You people, you speak the truth. Father, deliver him in Jesus' name. You will not lead me into temptation. Now, God's hand took Ezekiel to the valley. Now, it wasn't the level plain. Not on top of the mountain, but the valley. One, it means they were lower than normal. Two, they were dry bones to the point of turning powdery. Hopelessness. Can I bring you back to Genesis? And the earth was without form and void and God spoke. And this time, God has brought man into bones that were without form and void. And it's a son of man. Can these bones live? He said, God, 
you know. He said, okay, because I gave you my breath, say. Look at your neighbor. Tell the person, I will say. Listen, a close mouth is a close destiny. So you keep, when we are praying and people are seriously praying, you, you are there looking at your color pencil and your crayon. You have color pencil and crayon on your face. And you don't want to be messed up so you can be made up. Meanwhile, the man God has brought to marry you is standing right behind you looking for the lady with the cleanest brazier strap. And you are so much on yourself that you don't even want brazier strap to show. But you are not ashamed to be naked for a man who has not done anything over your head. But you are afraid to be naked in his presence. Like I told you yesterday, you know all the doggy stars on your knees. But I don't remember the last time you went on your knees for God. Did I choke? It was a genuine statement. You can remove your wig. Not in his house. Not in his room. But in the hotel room. Hang it. And you see them. They clean everything. You are, you are able to reveal who you are. Unto a man. Who has not yet paid the concession. To mine a gold. Some of you seated here, there is not even sand in you again. They've, uh, they have gotten rid of the sand, mined the gold, and left it monka. Acha go do a bubu bubu bubu. Agute neke bo lagba. No fia no laje. If you understand, can say amen. Hey, I'm a fan again. And he said, speak. Now, there are three things that the Lord asked the prophet to speak. First, he said, command. Say, I will command. Again, he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of Continue. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Continue. <laughs> he says, I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you. Cover you with skin, sinews, flesh, skin, and put breath in you. Four things. Sinew, flesh, skin, and breath. The number four stands for man. That's why Lazarus was raised on the... Because three stands for the Trinity. And he was not part of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So when you are saying, on the third day you shall rise, it's a lie. The fourth day is for you. The third day is for Jesus. And then the man of God began to sound like God. How many of you believe you can sound like God tonight? When I went in for my salary, it was 25 TDs then. That was 250,000. I said, uh, by then I was working with Ghana Prison Service as a prison officer, not a prisoner. Because you can meet a person, where do you work? I work at Bank of Ghana. Meanwhile, he's a cleaner. So he still works there. <laughs> I was working with Ghana Prison Service as a prison officer, not a prisoner. A beautiful Friday miracle service. And that time to salary day. So I had gone for my 25 CDs. That is now two, two, uh, uh, that, that then it was 250,000. Plenty big like that in my pocket. 
And then when I got to the church premise, I was in prison's uniform. So she went a little up towards BHC, Bank for Housing and Construction, then at Coco Memory, bought me a nice shirt. So I removed the prison's top, and then I wore the red shirt on top of the prison's uh, trousers. And then I did worship. After worship, Reverend Istudanaba took the microphone and he preached on getting drunk in the Holy Spirit. And you can't be drunk until you have drunk enough. If you drink your limit, you will not be drunk. You must go beyond. Do you know why you have not broken through yet? You have always maintained your limit. When you are giving, you give your limit. You have not given above. That is why you are not drunk in money. <laughs> to be drunk, you must drink above your limit. To be rich, you must give above your limit. My favorite UFC fighter in the whole world is that Nigerian guy, Adesanya, Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy is the still bender. The only UFC fighter with style who doesn't fear anybody. His recent fight was with Carlos. Now, that guy was feared by everybody. And he said, I will finish him the second round. Now, how do you finish a deadly person in the second round? Somebody who can fight five minutes times ten. He said, I will ship him. And I will unify the belts. He's already carrying three beds. One more to make it four. I know my sorrow. Adesanya does not belong to Nigeria, though he's a Nigerian. He belongs to New Zealand. Sometimes, if you have to let go of where you are coming from to become who you must be, you better leave. Because he said to Abraham, I can never reveal myself in you until you get out. Yes, it is your father's house, but not your house. For you to also become a father, have a house. Amen. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? Oh my God, I feel some dangerous thing. And, and, and the battle came on. I, was, I think three days to do or five days to do. Charlie? Still people are struggling to understand how Israel was able to knock the guy down the middle of second round. You cannot see the punch. But the guy was bleeding. Even the camera couldn't catch the punch. The guy was fast. So Israel had to be faster. Until you beat the speed of the camera, you will always be caught by the camera. Oh. And after the fight where they were interviewed, the guy said, I don't know what happened, but he won. And Adesanya was confidently saying, I don't have a knockout punch. But they keep on. She didn't like UFC. But because of Adesanya, anytime I'm watching, she was asking, who is fighting? Is it my boyfriend? And sometimes I'll tell her, no. Why it is him? And this one, she was there, but I didn't call her to come and watch. My darling, you can never win until you are better than your opponent. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. If you can't pray more than they con con consult, if you cannot pray more than they chant, if you can't pray more than they, they, they do their incantations and enchantments, don't think you can break them. Pray more, fight more, give more, love more. Pray more, fight more, give more, love more. He said, speak four times of speaking, four different segments. He did not just speak it, he prayed it. Could it be that the first topic, he said it for four hours, the second one four hours so 16 hours this prophet was in the valley but he came out with a battalion capable of winning a battle tonight you are coming to pray lord let me speak like you give like you declare like you and be like you what you have in your hands when you declare it it will come to pass rise up on your feet Yesterday I was telling him that when is our next meeting? Next Sunday, right? I have finished the ceiling. He 
Oh, you were there yesterday, last week. Agbeda. Now we left with the decoration. Three weeks. Let me tell you, calling the things that be not as though they were simply means taking a step by faith. If you took an envelope yesterday, come forward with it. Yesterday, I was talking to a gentleman. He is in the media. He's doing some too low. Blah, 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 about the Ghana National Gospel Music Award, which I have been made a member of the board. And he was talking about, you know, why we had something called hybrid. One of the awards is hybrid. And the hybrid means any musician who sings a song that sounds godly like giving honor to God. It doesn't matter who the person is. If it is talking about God, the person will be honored. And this guy was talking and talking. And talking. When he finished, I said, look at you. Do you have a Bible at home? He said, I have it on my phone. I said, the same phone you used to watch pornography. What makes you righteous? We are too judgmental. And people who judge too much don't progress. Look at Ghana. We will never progress until we stop judging and start building. We went to a place in Nigeria, is it? Owere or whatever they call it. Owere. And we had to drive from Owere to Abuja. A distance. Very, very far. And this Boko Haram too. There is one state full of rocks that we had to drive through that place. It was Kogi, thank you, thank you. Kogi, hey! Niger, you guys strong. If you have never been there and gone to places, you will not understand their aggressive nature. The car never decided to break down anywhere, but about just 30 kilometers into Kogi. And it's like a game and wild reserve. Dangerous place. Within three minutes when the car broke down, we saw the Niger military people going up and down the car because if you stay there for long so when they are doing the things of God they know where they are coming from when they are giving they know where they are coming from you even from here to Somania you can walk 1 a.m. and you don't have a problem when I told him that I said my son shut your mouth you dress like you have something. You are still living with your father. Then he kept quiet. I didn't know. I just, I want you to say with your heart, I break the shackles of financial insufficiency. And from tonight, I change my story. I will become, that's the prayer. Lord, I doom so was proper doom so. There will be doom at my place. I also have to look for generator and bring it here. I remember one time, both of us, our generators broke the plant. So I used, and when I finished, he filled the tank. When I mean, we rented it for 24 hours. We took it 9 a.m. So when is the 20? I used my tank. Your two hands with me. I am trusting. <laughs> Ha! Trust in thee for full so